All right, we're going to calculate the standard deviation using the Casio FX 82 AU calculator. Now, first thing you might notice is the calculator I have says FX 82 ES. Uh, my students use the AU calculator and they work exactly the same when you are calculating uh, standard deviation. So we're going to calculate the standard deviation using the following five data values that we're going to enter into our calculator. Now before you start, it is really important that you clear the calculator first. And the reason for this is there may be some data values that are still stored on your calculator and they'll throw off all your results. So to clear it, what we're going to do is go Shift 9 and here it says set up memory or all will we'll clear everything. So number 3 equals means yes press the equals key and now press the AC key. So everything is now cleared on the calculator and we can enter in our data values. So we'll click on mode and we want to get into statistics mode. So we'll push the number 2 and the very first option is what we want 1-var. Okay, here is where we can enter our five data values. So we'll start by typing 11 and we're going to press equals and you'll notice that the 11 is now stored there. Now the 13 equals, 15 equals, 17 equals and 19 equals. And you can see that all five data values have been stored. It's now at line 6 and we haven't entered anything and that's fine. So to get out, of, we want to get out of that so we'll push AC, it still remembers the five data values, so it's okay to carry on. And we want to calculate our standard deviation. And that involves this little button here, the number one with the stat above it. So we're going to go Shift 1. And we want to you push number five, like so. And you've got a few options here got four options in fact so what I think we'll do is we'll talk about all four options because they're all quite useful option one is n now n will actually tell you how many numbers you have so let's let's write all these down so option one we've got n which will tell you how many data values were were entered So for this case, it would be five. We've entered five data values. Uh, what else do we have there? We have X with a bar above it. So X with a bar above it will find you your mean. So sometimes you might want to use your calculator to find mean. And then you have X sig sigma N and X sigma N minus one. So X sigma N and X sigma n minus 1. So x sigma n is your population standard deviation and sigma, uh, x sigma n minus 1 is your sample standard deviation. All right, let's calculate those. So we'll start with n. Let's go number one. N give, gave us five, and and that that's good because we we knew we only entered five data values, and that can be handy in case you've ever worried that you might have entered an extra value or or didn't. You can always check that. Uh, next, we want x bar. So shift one five. X bar is number two equals and we got 15. Bring the calculator up again, we'll clear that. Shift 1, 5, and let's get the population standard deviation, option 3, and that gave us, oh, I can't remember it, 2.83. You'll notice the calculator keeps disappearing, it's because when I write on PowerPoint, the calculator pops behind the screen. Alright, um, now shift 1, 5, 
and we want the sample standard deviation op option for, and they that gives us 3.16.